G'day guys, welcome to the 1v1 Valkyrie tournament. We're in the semi-finals now to see Mr. Pringles from Finland take on Tedessa from Russia. Bit of deja vu here, they played this in the last 1v1 tournament on the Award of War mod, where Tedessa caused the first loss to Mr. Pringles in 1v1 tournaments. So it should be another good game, both these players are epically good and pretty much were, pretty much are the top 1v1 players in a lot of people's minds. And here they meet in the semi-finals. Finland for Tedessa, opening up with regular squad, I think, with the MG. Center coming up, assault squad with uh, UK as Mr. Pringles. Even grenade, rifle misses. MG put into the window, now firing down into the troops. Molotov, nice hit. A lot of intense, fast action here as Pringles and Tedessa tries to make the center there as with grenades. MG reloading from the side. Mr. Pringles approaching most of these guys from the side of the center. MG can't actually fire at them, you can see the angle of the window, perhaps move, move the window. Oh, grenades are flying everywhere. Both these players are very close to each other country-wise, so ping, no real ping disadvantage for both, so both will be markering a lot of grenades and a lot of fast movements. That's up to grenade in time, Molotov! <laughs> Takes it more. Some of the bonus of the Finnish guys, I guess, to have the Molotovs explodes on the impact. The Reservist. Also, uh, Reservist Kai, Militiamen for UK. So both of them opting for the lowest tier squad in the second buy. Get them out quickly, cheaply, get the numbers on the enemy. Well, both are doing the same thing, but the only, dis only difference is Tedessa has the machine gun. So maybe that will turn the tide. DP-27. Not doing too much damage, though, from the to the guys behind cover. You can see you're firing almost the entire clip of uh, the troops and only took off a little bit of health of this guy over here. Oh, grenades. Tedessa now trying to make a move on the left of center with a few grenades. None hitting their mark. Sami. Does a decent job. 80 grenade. Ooh, it's going to take out the entire cover. Nice one for the Dessa. Boom. Look at that. And now sending more in this area. Trying to break through here and flank the center. Whilst in the meantime, Pringles has taken back the flag of the Tedessa and is pushing further up to the warehouse area. This is pretty much the key area I think Axis have. Axis have the advantage of having this area which is great to defend the center and the right. But now Mr. Pringles has taken it away from him. And this is a good way to make the map the Allied. The Allied. Make, turn the advantage into the Allied's favor. As now his reservists are storming in getting shot up. Wow, a lot of Finnish troops have been shot. In grenade rifle. Hits one. And the defense into the heartland of the Axis map has proven to be a very good tactic as Tedessa has been wiped out before he can even get close to this area. And Pringles has the center as well, so it's turning it, turning it around now. 8-0, to zero, Tedessa had the quick lead from getting the majority of cap, and now Pringles looks very strong on the map. You can see lots of red dots, very strategically placed all over the map. Spread out very well, very hard for Tedessa to grenade or take uh, take advantage of, <coughs> of clumped up troops. Tedessa. <laughs> Those finishing grenades are actually quite useful for killing cover, to be honest. Like, they don't explode on impact, so it's hard to kill tanks, but damn, if you put them near a cover, not on the cover itself, it kills all the cover around it, so it's better, I think, at taking out cover than a normal AT grenade. It's one observation <laughs> I never realized. Uh, trying to take out the entrenched Pringles from the crates. I wonder what's inside these crates. They looks like they're metal. Got little handles here, interesting. Nice throw back there. Tedessa now going to go with the OT-130 Flamer. A bit hard to route out Pringles with just infantry. Now coming into Flame in the center. Pringles running away and straight away got a Crusader AA. Oh no, Tedessa is going to run away through the house. He's, got, he's forced to go all the way. Pringles going to reverse him. Oh, <laughs> through the window, it doesn't matter. This cafe bar doesn't... It's a too open plan, unfortunately. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And looks like he's uh, can get away with. It. No, it's not his uh, track now. And just realised my recording's a bit too loud on the volume. Sorry if you, if there's uh, some sort of spike. Um, so the turnout 
prior to this are trying to just sneaky cap it, but not for long. We've got Bengals coming in. But uh, one guy on the window taking out you. Now uh, pin down. Black, watch out. And here comes the UK advantage. Gonna try to spam the enemy to death with the infantry. Crusader A playing extremely safe, uh, even after that uh, OT-130 diet. Not coming out to take a, take a push on the east for the three cap. And Tedessa with uh, regular squad. Oh no, it's Assault Squad. So I keep confusing this. Assault Squad comes with the semi KP bipod, which is, which is the MG. And kind of an MG. But uh, it's an Assault Squad. And the Assault Squad with a sub MG. <coughs> And here's a T-34, 941 mod. That's the shitty one, the L, uh, <coughs> the F-34 gun. Sorry guys, I still had the flu. So I'm just struggling to hold back my cough. <coughs> yep, the Pringles push is relentless. T-34 trying to hold this, throwing its arsenal at it. HT shells are missing. Not the best infantry support gun. The MD is so... Impotent to do anything. DT29, Crusade A here coming in to try to cut off the roadway of infantry. T34 powers to do anything. Too many buildings blocking. And Pringles has kind of locked down Mr. Dedessa, as you can see. <clears throat> Look at the amount of infantry. It's cut off the entire area. Now forcing the three cap. These three infantry versus the two here. These are pinned down because there's so many around. Oh, look at those grenades. And wow, three cap is on. So that's a force to waltz all the way around to avoid the crew AA. Now we're going to try cap left side. I've never seen Tedessa uh, be this pressed. It's always, these days, the most recent uh, 1v1s. It's always been close if he's going to lose. It's, uh, it seems like he's just getting absolutely dominated on the map. Uh, oh, trench clearing squad. That's a big one. Plus in a reserve squad. No wonder. <laughs> Looks strong than it is. Two of the flamethrowers here, but now has the numbers to, to cap the flag back. Kuka say that AA won't be able to come back uh, and come out, sorry, come out and help because of the T34. So, well, it's this Greece, a Greece one. Sacred Band Infantry. Oh, sorry, excuse me. The Sacred Band Infantry uh, on the UK. I never knew they had um, this squad. Interesting. Interesting squad. <laughs> Four, five of them have died just like that. They're on the wrong side of the stone wall. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, yeah, but this uh, the Lord's guns <laughs> proving to be such a pain. It's not not really pinned down. It just keeps coming out wanting to shoot. It's quite confident. And those uh, Greek icons are very very prominent, and they're all over here. You can see the Greeks uh, filling the gaps on the right of the spawn. And Tedessa must be feeling the pressure. Even Crusade A is coming out to play. He knows it's safe. He's going to cut off the roadway again for any infantry coming to reinforce the area. <clears throat> but Trench Clearing Squad is going to now be the Building Clearing Squad. This guy's about to perish, but he's doing decent work and has uh, done its job. So, interesting game now. Tedessa forced to play it patiently. Don't panic. Just make a f get focused and find ways to route Pringles out for this one flag. And it's done a good job of that. Excuse me guys. Gonna... <coughs> okay, so he's got the the eastern point. And now I wonder what's gonna what Pringles is gonna do. He's gonna come up with a three special point command. Interesting. It's only a tank is there, but uh, I, I suppose lots of buildings hide behind. He can kind of cut off this roadway. He can waltz behind this building. This building is actually quite hard to shoot. Plus, uh, he's got the commandos with the Piat. Only one Piat, though, I believe. He's really relying on this one guy to make a good shot. But first, coming with the commandos, push the infantry out with the superior skill. And wow, that guy was a, a bit. Oh, that's oh what. Brilliant. See the diversion? Half track, diversion, commando, Piat. And that was like no room for error, man. <laughs> that was the only Piat in the squad. 
And now he's coming in. Oh no. Oh wow. Crusader A hey, took out all these guys. Oh took up pick up the Piat so quickly and turreted to the crew AA, so that's gonna buy to this some time. But the pressure is so relentless on Pringles. Look at him, he just never stops. I wonder how long he can hold. There's Finland though. We'll start to shine a bit more once the Tawny squad comes out. Perhaps maybe not on this map though, I don't know. I'm not sure how it will work on this map, but look at that. Pringles has even got guys in the spawn buildings of... Sorry. <coughs> yeah, of Tedessa. Another T-3441, opting for the cheap tank to take out the infantry killer. And that's all he needs, because Mr. Pringles doesn't seem to care about, the, about killing the tank with another hard counter tank. He's just going to go all full out infantry to just dominate, and it's working. He's capped the flag once again, commandos around in the air. Oh wow, <laughs> AP snipe there. Desperation, T-34, that's all he has. To this is fighting with all he has. Pulling out tricks from the hat or from his ass. HG shell, ooh. Oh, even no cover now. And now this flag's decapped. The descent needs to get a flag somehow. He's struggling to even get in there. Six, <coughs> sorry. Six SP to go. Pringles, all infantry. Little scum cutting off the roadway. Sacred van as well on the side. SMG, uh, look at the Thompson M. Okay, Thompson guns. Ooh, anti grenade, nice one. Crew A gonna cut off the roadway again. T34 stuck on this flag. Maybe he needs to switch it up. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Unfortunately, the volleys all hit. Ooh! Fortunately, the volleys hit most, mostly the rooftops. Number 42, never seen that in a game. I suppose it's a quite a small map. This can cover all flags, and hopefully, it's safe in spawn. Hopefully, considering there's lots of troops of Mr. Pringles close. But it looks better on the map now, you can see. Not too many troops of Mr. Pringles around. It may enable Pringles to, I mean, to this to even push onto the center. Which is making a move, but to Priest of Pringles is still pressuring this flag. Another sacred bad squad. This time on the right side of the stone wall. Or oh, something. <laughs> to this are forced to come back again. Relentless pressure. Three cap maybe again. Oh. doing a good defensive game but the needs to maybe I don't know <laughs> he's playing he's playing into Pringles hands right now Pringles has this well this oh Achilles oh oh quick 50 50 oh, through the wall though defend for cart but oh maybe it's that's an Achilles what's the range of? it's out oh it's out of range of the HG shell change the shell perhaps 120 range I think or is it oh it's a Oh, Neville's not doing too much damage at this stage. Achilles now for an easy shot. Oh, bounces some reason. Oh, there you go. Where's White Death? There you go. White Death is here. Defending the point. Should be a bit more easy now to hold to take out the infantry. But uh, now Crusader A and Achilles. This map, Achilles can kill anything, pretty much, but it's a bit risky. He can die to a lot of things, too. 63 to 8. Tedessa has finally routed out the commandos. Now time for pushing the center, perhaps. Ooh, elite 18th infantry. Ooh, easy put away. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, hitting the same area. Hit the hit the hole, mate. Find it. <laughs> and we'll take it. Tank crew coming in just to repair, but no go. Back up though with assault squad. Oh no! Oh, lucky, lucky. Just in the nick of time, realised. That centre going back to Pringles, I think. CP wise, uh, Tadissa has a lot of CP. No, oh wow, no SP. Even this is going to be a struggle for Tadissa. Expensive rockets here. Not even killing a full assault squad. Unfortunately, not not uh, proving to be worth it at all. <coughs> Pringles guarding very deeply in the warehouse area. <laughs> Another crew, eh? Hey? What can the Dessa do? <laughs> so much. Firepower pressure. Now he's just now going to play. Do it the hard way. Now just grenading guys off. Wow, well, grenade after grenade. One guy. This guy. Oh, squad leader. Look at this guy. He's like a commander. Forced the forced use of, I guess. Yeah, I guess a skill. Using, using just his flare alone to try to get, get him out of this mess. Ringo's coming in with a crew A just to hold the center. Excuse me. Shot. Oh, oh, no go, unfortunately. But it does take out most of the infantry. Maybe you can sneak a bazooka up. I guess the only thing now, the only downside of Pringle's army is he's got less CP available, but <laughs> not a real downside because Kure A can, can null any sort of infantry majority advantage because it just can take out anything. But this guy is key, I suppose. Take it that crew A. Ooh, what's happening here? I didn't see this, sorry. Oh no, miss, 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 miss. Oh, gets the turret, great. Oh, Achilles may even be the target. I guess the close. Oh, Achilles has taken it out though, unfortunately. But here comes the, no, it's not the AT guy. The AT guy could have, but it was. Looks like they're pretty good. <laughs> Sorry. Looks like Pringles is definitely uh, ran out of steam. So it's going to be small skirmishes here and there with infantry. There's less support for Tedessa. So she looks decent for Tedessa. Mr. Pringles now just buying single uh, elite infantry, elite rifles. Sorry guys, gonna blow my nose. Alright. Don't know why it is. I just take like months to get better the uh, last few years. Just like I've uh, reached a certain age and all of a sudden my immune system has gone to shit. <laughs> SAS. Now, oh, that's a big one, elite tier, and it's going to be hard for Tedessa to counter. I suppose now what uh, is good is the middle. Oh no! That bazooka would have been nice. ACS now hold the center, mm. and he's only got low tier infantry to do much. But paybacks are coming up strong. You can see he's up to now 400 MP. Oh. A good tank run. Yeah, I was going to say that, sorry, I just had it at. <laughs> 
I was going to say, yeah, a good, a good tank grind could actually take out everything on the field, because Achilles is, by all means, not a tough tank. Oh no! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Next shot! Achilles! Oh! Oh, shit. Oh no. Oh no. Stunned only. Oh, lucky. Look at that angle, though. Can he escape? He will. Maybe. Great. Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's alright. Uh, Tedessa has uh, capped the Western in the meantime. Wow. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, well, there's no infantry cut. Oh, there he is now. Assault squad from Pringles. That uh, should be okay for this too. But here's a nibble. Does well versus the SAS. Taking out four SAS, which is kind of worth it. White Death uh, as well in the vicinity. There it is. And yeah, that, that SAS squad actually uh, didn't do well at all. They've pretty much lost the entire SAS squad. To, to the double and the white death. Mm. Both of us was a good idea, in my opinion. Just uh, Achilles not in the line of sight, I think, for Tedessa. He never knew, even never knows it's there. Interestingly, but, but so in the afternoon. <laughs> so he needs to get the push on the. I think yeah, he needs to get the push on the warehouse a bit more. Get white death here. Get some buildings down. Uh, this is a worry still though. 1083. No, no room for error or room for dallying, diddly dallying around. Tedessa needs to just keep pushing. Or oh, White Death may come out to try to take out. It's sorry, Crusader. He may try to take it out. It's really being quite aggressive. No line of sight. An AT infantry guy would be quite good in this uh, at this time. Another T34, or same T34, sorry. I think Neville's gonna go for another. No, it's not still reloading. 8410. Neville's trying to take out the crew AA. Achilles now moving in. Mm, a bit of a gap. No. Oh! Not even injured. Yeah, capping again though. <coughs> Quite funny. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice shot. Ooh, tracked. They will might make it worth even. It's quite funny. Uh, the last game these guys played on this map, I was sick as well and I struggled to cast it. It was such a great game and I didn't really do it justice. I feel the same right now, I'm not doing this game justice with my, my slow casting. <clears throat> but wow, Pringles again with the Commander Flare. Dropping him down, bit by bit. Nice spread. Oh, he <laughs> runs straight in the, to the Panda Shrek. Pringle showing he still had special points. And now has a lot of good guys cutting up the center with the A is gonna be hard for to this again to come in. 84 to 10. Pringles reversing. Oh, misses. Oh no. Look at oh what there's a sketch on the skin of his teeth. No, oh, I don't think uh, this looks good at all for this. How can he come back? He needs to go, uh, go 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 YOLO on this. No lucky shot to directly hit a vehicle yet. This is hoping for it. He's always aiming at the vehicle. Uh, coming in. Needs a bazooka run out of something. 
The Springles are looking very strong. Um, <coughs> with his vehicles, he's, he's, he's kind of denying. He denies Tedessa a shot all the time. Just very good at uh, holding areas of the map and not having much risk in what. Oh! <laughs> Talk too soon. The Crusader A does, uh, doesn't have good infantry line of sight quite often, though, I noticed. Okay. Ooh, Tedessa coming in now again. Oh, but uh, Fingles swinging back to the center. Oh, T34 taken out by the Achilles, and I think <laughs> it's all over. 93 to 10. And even now, the right point he assaulted. But there's a, always been a slight chance to come back into it with certain moments. But it really never, never came close to having the advantage, or never, never had the advantage on his side ever in the entire game, in my opinion. Always on the back foot. And never was able to hold, but was never to take advantage. Nice clear up here, though. But uh, too late, I think. No, ooh, ooh, this is what I needed before. Oh, this is, it could be good. Oh, that could have been good. That would have been a good rush, actually. Y'all have everything run over these guys. 97-10, it's all over. Nothing in Tedessa's area to take back anything. Well done to Pringles. The ex-champion, uh, looks like he is uh, on form. I guess Tedessa's doing, looking pretty good too, so hopefully next game will be a good one. And see who will make it to the grand final. Well done to Mr. Pringles. Looking pretty, pretty good. Apologies again for the sniffles and coughs and that. See ya.